So to start the video off, we are painting the roof of our cargo trailer with a primer oil-based paint to keep it from rusting any further. So it protects it and makes it look a little better. On to the solar panels. Here I am adding 90 degree angle brackets that came with the panels. So I put on the bolt, uh, I put it through the hole, then the flat washer, then the lock washer, which stops the nut from coming off, and finally the nut. After that, we also put silicone over top of them so it doesn't vibrate and shake loose later. Put the solar panels on the lower sides of the trailer so one side gets partial sun and the other gets full sun that way both get full sun as the day goes on uh, Now with connecting the wires, they only go in one way, so it's pretty simple. We also put caulk on the wires to help hold them down. He's measuring now to know where to put the hole to where the rafters are in the trailer to be able to hit steel that's on the inside of the trailer. After we put the screws in, Timmy is caulking over top of them to make them weather tight. You want the least possible chance of water getting through.
setting these original holes because that ain't where the studs lined up. It's like from underneath. Yeah. So. Caulk under it and above it should stop. You're so nerve wracking. <laughs> Scaring the crap out of me, dude. This is called tooling off the caulk. Mm -hmm. Makes it last longer, lets the water run off of it so it don't get stuck in like any dimples or anything. And that's gonna work good for a glue too. And this is silicone, pretty much has no life expectancy on it. Because it lasts so long. Here you can see Timmy putting the caulk on the wires. We plan to make a panel that is going to go over top of the wires. We also have a charger controller that comes with the solar panels that we will show, uh, we'll show you guys us installing them once we have a, made a place to put it. I can always pull them apart. But this will hold them down for right now. Yeah. 